I'm Keith Miller and I want to thank you for watching the video and sticking around and uh, watching this little additional part that I'm putting on here tonight. I'm doing this because I've, I've had quite a few um, folks ask me some questions about what I'm doing to record my videos to get the sound that I get. They've also asked for some tips on finger style. Um, I'm really humbled and honored by that. Uh, I really appreciate that and I just hope that I uh, hope I can answer some of those questions, and if I can help your playing in, in any way, that's a, that's a great thing. So thank you very much for your interest. Um, what I'm going to start with is I'm going to show you a little bit of what I just played on, um, on Blackbird. I'll repeat that, and then it's like an A7 there. And back to G. I like to I like to use the first and third finger here to kind of pull off some harmony sometimes. And then I go. I start singing the song because I don't have much of a singing voice. So I try to find that melody. And I have to only do the little bridge part once. And I And what I've done here is I go back to really the traditional intro. That, that whole step um, process there. And then I end with, with a little harmonic fist string here. And let that ring. Alright, I'm going to um, address a couple of questions that I routinely get after I post a video and one of the big ones here is is what are you using to, to do the film what are you doing to get the audio that you're um, getting and I tell folks and and it's uh, surprisingly simple and what I'm showing you here is just a little $15 tripod that I got at Walmart this mount on here is from a selfie stick and uh, I just uh, put that on the top so that I can mount the iPhone on the, on there. When I when I mount it, I I turn it on. I put it in self selfie mode on the video. Now I'll just hit record and I set it close enough to me. That's why all my videos tend to be somewhat close up. I'll set it close to me so that I can reach and start the video without having to get up, and I can um, just push stop when it when it's uh, finished. Now. Another big question I get is the sound. Now that's, that's how I get my, my video. And it captures the sound as well. What I have here, I don't know if you can see this, but this is um, a little little pedal display or setup. And that's the, the light in the middle is a battery. It runs my Boss Digital Reverb RV5. And I use a digital delay, DD3. Uh, a lot of people like just the natural sound of the guitar, and I do too, but I've got to say there's something about a boosted signal that just adds some warmth. It makes uh, makes the outside feel like a concert hall, and that's a good thing to me anyway. But that's what I'm doing. I run my guitar, this, this cable right here is I want to plug into my guitar. It runs into my digital delay and falls through now, there's my out right there it comes comes right out of the reverb and plugs into the iPhone now the interface for that 
best 40 bucks I ever spent. Well, maybe. Certainly up there. This is the iRig 2. It plugs right into your phone. Captures the straight signal right out of that, that pedal thing. I don't even need um, I don't even need an amp to get the sound that I'm getting. So there's the secret. Um, I'm sure there's probably a thousand ways to do it. This is just one of them, and I find it works for me. It's very portable. I can break this down. Uh, it's nothing to carrying it to a to a site to do my filming. So I hope that will answer your question. If you if you do have any further questions, just let me know. I picked this little thing up at a music store, the, the iRig 2. Uh, most, of the, most of the stores have those. So, All right, another frequent question I, I get a lot of, after I post a video is what, what kind of guitar am I using? I start with a little rose. It's really the, the signature of this particular uh, model of guitar. It's the Doyle Dykes signature model. They started these things probably around 2000, 2001. And they ran for about 12 years. Uh, this this particular model here is a um, a 2004. You can see the thumb markers right here. That Doyle Dykes uh, picked those out. Honor Chad Atkins and uh, the rose itself is um, is put there for a beautiful song that he wrote. It's really his signature song called "White Rose for Heidi," and it's a remarkable story. It's worth looking up. Uh, and Heidi is his daughter. And it, uh, it's a story that took place when she was real, real small, and it really, uh, really helped turn Doyle into the, into the man he is, I believe. And he shared that story all over the world. It's beautiful. The, um, you see, it has abalone around the, uh, the edges and the rosette. The, one of the things that I think really helps the sound of this thing is the um, most Taylor guitars have an expression system, or the older ones have Fishman. I've had I've had Taylors with both of those, and this one doesn't have either. It's got LR bags. I'm showing you this bridge because they're ind independent little um, pickups, just like an electric guitar sits there. You can adjust the height of each of these. Um, that can, helps control some of your action, and it's uh, LR bags. And they may Taylor may do uh, make a more than just this guitar with that particular. Uh, electronics but I'm not aware of them if, if they are but uh, I'm definitely sold on this a beautiful guitar uh, Doyle's had I think uh, Guild did a, a signature model for him uh, Olsen just recently put a rose on the headstock of his guitar it's not a signature model but it's a, a signature addition to his his personal guitar he's also playing with Godin now so I wouldn't be surprised to see a rose pop up somewhere in some fashion on on the Godin in the not too distant future. But uh, Doyle is definitely worth looking into. You'll see his name pop up a lot uh, when I post a video because he influences a lot of what I do. And uh, I'm, I'm happy to share that. I can't thank you enough for, for watching my videos and for all the likes and shares and um, um, encouragement. I've gotten so many encouraging words. Before I started putting these videos on my computer, I really didn't know if I um, how it was going to be received. Yeah, I, I think that's the way it is. Anytime you do something, you you probably fear the worst, you know. And uh, I think uh, I think I'm no exception to that. But um, but you certainly have uh, have made me feel welcome and made my videos uh, feel well received. And I'm very grateful for that. Yeah, thank you for watching this video, and I hope it entertained you and helped you in uh, some way if you're a guitar player. And uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks.